Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we get to create a monster because today we are looking at MetaHuman Creator. Now if you've never heard of MetaHuman Creator, it is this incredibly powerful character creator uh, from Epic Games, obviously used in Unreal Engine. You can create very, very lifelike characters uh, at multiple LODs. If you've never used it before, I'm going to use it quickly in the background while I go through and talk about the new release, uh, which is MetaHuman Animator. So basically MetaHuman Creator starts from a base template, although you can use a base mesh and there is some updates on that one. Uh, you basically just start with a base character. There's a variety of them available over here. Let's go ahead and pick uh, Omar here. Omar is pretty generic. Uh, it's going to load in the shaders here. It takes a couple of seconds. One thing you may be wondering is where is this running? This actually runs on their server. So this is running right here in the browser, uh, but ultimately your end creation, you run it into the MetaHuman plugin for Unreal Engine. We'll get back to that in just a little bit. So here is your starting point for this guy. If you're happy with it, we'll go ahead and we'll create this guy. And it brings you into the editor. Um, I think it's going to clear up a little bit over time, but as you can see here, uh, the level of detail on these characters is staggering. So if you're looking to create realistic, lifelike characters with multiple LODs, that's what this is all about. And then you got a ton of control over it over here. By the way, you've got uh, various different animations you can see with the face. So you can see him sad. You can do the same thing with posing. So you can have like a fighting pose, like so. And, and so on. So you got control over a variety of different looks for your characters over here. Uh, and then the animator is going to come in. So if you want to do your own custom animations on that, that's what this new animator is giving you the capabilities of doing uh, in two different ways. You can hook it up to a stereographic camera or you can actually use an iPhone and I'll show you the plugin for doing that. First, let's make this guy pretty awful. So you got control over the blend. We can actually blend in with another character to kind of mix and match the two base meshes together. You can again also provide your own base meshes now. Uh, you can control the skin color here. The various different tone, like so. So let's start creating our monster now. We can do various different accents. So we can add some redness, some saturation, some lightness here. We can add some freckles. So this guy has a great deal of freckles. You can increase the density of the freckles, the strength of the freckles. And then we go over here. You've got control over the eyes, including the iris uh, and the base color of it and so on. Uh, your teeth, you have full control over the teeth. You can give this guy some very yellowy teeth going on here. You can control the gum color. You've got just a staggering amount of control here. And here's where we can get into the uh, monstrosity side of things. Let's give this guy a little bit of makeup here, a little bit of roughness to that. Let's add a little metallic sheen on there. We give him some blush, quite a bit of blush, actually. Uh, of course, he needs to have some lipstick, so let's give him some, some lipstick here. And then you got control, obviously, over the head. Uh, you got a variety of different hairstyles here, so uh, we could give him a nice afro here, or we could go and give him uh, a medium mohawk, a variety of controls over there. You got, and then obviously controls over the variety of different things there. You've even got fine-tuned control over sculpting of the base mesh with these control points available over here. It's kind of staggering just how much control you have with MetaHuman Creator. So you can make pretty much anything you want. I think this guy definitely needs a beard of some kind. Yeah, there we go. Definitely looking better. Our monster is coming to shape. Of course, we've been looking mostly at the head so far. You've also got control uh, a little bit over the body. Uh, so we can give him, we can put him in a hoodie. Uh, we can change up the color of the hoodie. We can get some details. So we could add a graphic onto the hoodie. So some sunglasses there, make those purple. Uh, and then we go over here. We give him some uh, tight lycra shorts. Uh, I don't think we need camo pattern, but. Yeah, it's fine by me. Okay, so here is our amazing character that we just created. And as you can see, you can, you can do just a, a staggering amount of work in MetaHumans. These are all then uh, synchronized. Your MetaHumans are all available. So you see here, I've created a number of monsters in the past. They're all available for download in uh, Unreal Engine. So there's my two newest creations. Uh, and then I've done some legacy MetaHumans that are just equally awful. Uh, I'm very good at making monstrous looking humans in MetaHuman, as you may be able to notice. All right, so moving on to today's news. They have just released MetaHuman Animator. It is now available. Uh, it is available in a couple of ways. So first off, you can grab it as a plugin uh, for Unreal Engine itself. So you see here, this is all the tooling. Uh, if you watch the videos with the sound turned off, you can notice it all plugged in directly into Unreal Engine. It's a set of or a suite of uh, animation tools and controls. So you see your fine tune control available over here, over the particular rig. But the biggest thing that you're gonna do with this thing is for doing facial capture. And you've got a couple of different options for the facial capture. Uh, head on down over here. So they do have this new video from Blue Dot Studio, uh, a three lateral. It's a company that they actually own to create this. Uh, they made this cinematic using it. So you can actually see uh, the end results. But we keep searching. 
this is all motion captured uh, using metahumans. It, it's pretty impressive work. Uh, some more details available are actually here, how they did it. But you can actually do all of the capture using an iPhone if you so wish. Of course, you don't have to. You can also use a traditional camera setup like this one. Uh, but yeah, using any iPhone uh, 12 or above. Now, I'm not going to be demonstrating this because the only iDevice I have here are um, an, an iPad, which is not supported. And I think it is specifically limited to iPhones because I think they have some depth sensors, maybe LiDAR and a few other things uh, that you need to do motion capture specifically. I do think some of the um, you know Android devices could probably be supported, but uh, right now it is iPhone 12 and higher, or you use uh, a stereo face capture camera uh, to do the work as well. That's what they actually did for the example. So in the film that they did, they used a rig setup like this. But if you're pretty, you know, on a budget, you can definitely just set up and use uh, an iPhone for all your motion capture for your face capture. So you can blend this in with your metahuman creations and have lifelike humans animated, and, like all the voice work literally done on an iPhone device. Uh, it, it's pretty insane what you could do here as well. Now, I mentioned earlier on, uh, there's also some improvements to the metahuman workflow for the uh, mesh. So uh, it isn't just about MetaHuman Animator. They've also expanded Mesh to MetaHuman, so you can now directly set the template mesh point positions. Mesh to MetaHuman performs a fit that enables it to use any topology, but this necessarily uh, approximates necessarily approximates the volume of your input mesh. With this release, you can set the template mesh and provide it strictly adherence, uh, adheres to the metahuman topology. Uh, you will get exactly um, that mesh rigged, not an approximation. So in other words, you can actually create your own mesh in something like Max Meyer or Blender um, and then import it in now as your character and then have all this animation tooling and the facial rigs and all that stuff work for you. Uh, in tandem with the DNA clip, um, ability to set the neutral post for mesh and joints. This empowers experts to quickly zero in on custom characters. Uh, there is their learning portal. So if you wish to learn a little bit more about that, it is available out there. So there are a couple of components to the whole metahuman process. The first part was over here, go to metahuman.unrealengine.com and you can run it directly in your browser. It is running on their servers. Uh, there is no price attached to it as long as you're using it with Unreal Engine, which again is really quite impressive. On top of that, there is the plugin so this has the two components to it. So this is where the uh, facial animation from MetaHuman Meta Animator is actually implemented. On top of that, the uh, ability to import your own custom mesh, that is all done inside of Unreal Engine uh, using the MetaHuman plugin, which is available for download. This requires Unreal Engine 5 or higher, up to 5.2. Uh, and then the other aspect of this is if you are using uh, an iPhone for the facial capture. The actual software that you use here is a program called Live Link Face. Now, interestingly enough, it is saying that it is supported on iPad, uh, but the uh, animation capturing says specifically iPhone 12 or higher. So possibly it does work on an iPad. I am not 100% certain, but uh, yeah. So if you want to check that out, you can do so. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you are interested in learning more, their dev community does have uh, a bunch of tutorials and guides on actually getting up and going, uh, creating, using um, MetaHuman Creator. And then we've got some animation and control rig stuff up here already uh, for the new stuff. And also you've got your own ability. So if you want to bring your own scans in, that option is there. And the new mesh import in this version is also upgraded as well. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. So that the MetaHuman Animator is now available. You can use it via an iPhone using the Live Link app if you are so inclined. It's really kind of amazing the technology that's available to us, especially uh, free-ish. You know, of course, there's a commission if you or a royalty if you use Unreal Engine, but uh, the level of tooling that's available to just you and I. It's just staggering. But I'm curious what you think, MetaHumans in general, uh, MetaHuman Animator specifically. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.